every DC motor has its own maximum speed based on the motor's rating and the power source being used. And each motor works most efficiently when it's been operated on a power source that it's exactly at its maximum rating. For example, this 6 foot foot motor here works very much better when it's used with a 6 foot battery. But today's question is how do you increase the output speed of the motor without having to increase its power source? That's where gearing comes in. Already, we know gear ratio to be the difference between the number of teeth of two machine gears. And to get high speed arrangement, we need a bigger gear with more teeth to spin a smaller gear with lesser teeth. And that's what we'll be bidding today. So let's begin. We start by selecting our gears. Basically, all you want to do is make a bigger gear with more teeth, which will be connected to a DC motor. Spin a smaller gear with lesser teeth, and that will be connected to the vertical shaft. Back to gear ratios. This particular gear has 55 teeth on it, and we're connected to a smaller gear which has only 11 teeth. That gives a gear ratio of 1 to 5, which means the smaller gear turns 5 times faster than the bigger one, which gives more speed. You can further increase the speed by adding a smaller gear teeth to the biggest circumference of the other gear. For more speed, the motor is attached to the larger teeth gear, which means it turns the smaller gear faster, increasing the output speed. If you want higher torque, just change the position of the motor to the one to the smaller gear. But for this video, we'll be building one with high speed. We then need to make a body case to hold the gears in position while the spin. Place the gears on this piece of plastic here. And mark out all the center holes of each gears. Make two of this piece and then start arranging the parts. First, attach the motor to one of the PVC. Attach the spinning rod for the second intermediate gear. And also attach some cushion to it. Now we attach the last piece of gearing to our output shaft, secure it with our super glue. And attach it accordingly to our casing. Complete adding the other gears and test manually to see how well it works. I made some modifications to make the case in straight so the case turns spin at an angle. You can see how fast the as we shaft rotates with a little spin and give to the um, main shaft. Now let's test it with a power source to see. You can see how fast it spins. The gear ratio here is 1 ratio 20 which means the output shaft runs 20 times faster. Now secure the rotating shafts and attach the other piece of casing to complete the gearbox.
usually the case in while making sure none of its parts obstructs the rotation and spinning of the gears. Finish up all edges. That's it, our high speed gearbox is ready. Now let's test it out. Notice that the gear connected to the axle shaft rotates at incredible speed. Why the one connected directly to the motor? does not rotate at such speed. Meanwhile, the intermediate gear rotates faster than the one connected to the motor but not as fast as the one connected to the output shaft. And that's it. We have successfully increased the output speed of this DC motor without increasing its power source. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, please make sure to like, share and subscribe and also turn on the bell so you don't miss any video from us. I'll see you in the next video.